as knife crime continues to spiral out of control. This video chronicles the timeline of attacks that have occurred in Huddersfield this year. It is a sobering look at the violence that has taken place in our town and a reminder that we need to be vigilant in keeping our community safe. Watch the video to learn more about these attacks. January 10 A man is hunted down by a pack of young men and then stabbed. The victim, 24, was jazzed down Bellevue Crescent in Sheepridge. He ran into a household garden near Well Grove but was cornered and stabbed. The assailants, thought to be teenagers, wore dark tops with hoods up. January 18 A man in his 20s loses his right leg after a machete attack in Sheepridge. The victim was targeted by masked men around 8 p.m. who cut off his leg. February 21 A man is attacked with a machete outside Dayton Working Men's Club. Armed police and an air ambulance are dispatched to the area. The victim, 19, was on his way to withdraw 10 pounds from a cash machine when he was ambushed by three masked men. He is taken to hospital with injuries and a friend fears doctors may not be able to save the hand. March 20 A teenager suffered a deep 2 cm stab wound to his lower back, which required three stitches after he was stabbed in Dayton. The 13-year-old was attacked on Riddings Close around 6.20 p.m. April 16 A taxi is ambushed on Saturday April 16 around 3.55 p.m. Four men smash a window and stab a man who is sat in the taxi. The attack happened on Gledholt Road close to Greenhead Park. Two men, arrested for the attack, have since been released on bail. April 19 West Yorkshire police discover three knives including a scary and deadly long-bladed knife that could go through an entire human body and make it out the other side. The knives were found in Dayton. May 22 a man is rushed to hospital with serious injuries to his head and hands after he was attacked by a knife or machete. The victim, 22, was standing outside Cleopatra's lounge when he was approached by a man with a knife. He fled into the club but was pursued by his assailant who delivered the brutal attack. Three men have since been arrested in connection with the incident. They have all been released on bail. June 6 armed officers are deployed after a man is attacked with a knife and stabbed during a Jubilee Street party in Birkenhill. The attack happened around 6.15 p.m. on Hawkinson Road. The victim, a man in his 30s, is taken to hospital with a stab wound to his side. The lie to a teenager is rushed to hospital after being stabbed around 11.50 p.m. Several people are arrested after partygoers chase a teenage lad for several hundred yards down Huddersfield Street before cornering and stabbing him. A police helicopter circles the area for a while after the incident. The police cordon remained in place on Thornton Lodge for most of the following day. August 9 A man's hand is chopped off with a machete outside Dayton Working Men's Club. The gruesome attack leaves blood everywhere and shocked witnesses pick up the man's hand in a tea towel. It is the second such attack at the same place. August 9 A 46-year-old man is stabbed by a bare-chested man on Swab Lane. The attack happened in broad daylight just after 3.40 p.m. The victim is left fighting for his life. On August 13, Jay Glover, 35, of Ashfield Street, Fartown, appears in court charged with wounding with intent and possession of an offensive weapon. Two other suspects have been bailed. August 23 – Five Huddersfield men have been charged in connection with the stabbing of Javel Morgan in Moss Side. Mikhail Bucknor, from Murfield, Jacob Doughty, 21, of Ponyfield Close, Huddersfield, and Simeon Baptist, 24, of Wellfield Bank, Huddersfield, Darius Blackburn, 20, and Deontay Crowsfield, 22, from Huddersfield, all appear at Manchester Crown Court charged with murder. September 15 video footage is posted to social media, showing the moment a man armed with a knife lunges towards another man in the middle of a busy street in Huddersfield Town Centre. Two people are stabbed and taken to hospital. The incident happened at the junction of Byram Street and Kirkgate at around 5.45 p.m., the suspect ran off but was arrested later. September 22 A 15-year-old boy tragically dies after he was stabbed repeatedly outside his school. Kerry McLean was attacked on Woodhouse Hill, close to North Huddersfield Trust School where he attended. Witnesses say Kerry McLean was pinned down and knifed near the gates of North Huddersfield Trust School shortly before 3 p.m. on Wednesday in front of horrified pupils. A murder investigation was launched after the teen died shortly after being rushed to hospital and a 16-year-old boy has now been arrested, West Yorkshire police said. The youth was arrested at an address in Huddersfield shortly before 5 a.m. this morning in connection with the incident in Woodhouse Hill, Fartown. He remains in custody and enquiries are ongoing, led by detectives from West Yorkshire Police Homicide and Major Enquiry Team. The 15-year-old boy has become the second teen to be arrested in connection with the murder of Kerry McLean, 15. Ops confirmed they arrested the teenager yesterday and he is currently in custody following the shocking school stabbing in Huddersfield. Barry's mum Marcia came to the spot where he died, knelt down on the floor and was visibly completely overcome by emotion. The woman whose daughter goes to the school described the victim as a good lad and called the incident disgusting, adding. Something needs to be done about youngsters carrying knives.
Worried parents also called the incident shocking, frightening and a parent's worst nightmare. One man, 41, said. My nephew is in year 7 and this is his first year of high school. This kind of stuff can traumatize youngsters. It's not a good look overall when parents are coming to pick youngsters up to see that etched on their brains. They will see the aftermath the police cars, the ambulance and police tape. The mum of 2, 43, added. It makes you frightened to send your children to school. You send them to school to be safe. It's heartbreaking and shocking. What is the world coming to? Another dad, 46, who has a son at the school, said. It was a scary moment when I heard there had been trouble and a teacher answered my 14 years old son's phone. I was asked by staff to come and collect him. I've heard that it all came out of nowhere. This pupil was grabbed, pinned to the floor and stabbed repeatedly. Another dad said. My daughter's just started there and was getting on the bus home. A lad in a black hat and snoo jumped out on a pupil and stabbed him and ran off. She saw the scuffle but didn't see the knife or blood. The bus had just pulled up as it happened so blocked some of the incident she seems okay, but still processing it I think. It's only her third week or so at this new school. The area is getting bad for this crime recently. Something needs to be done, I don't know what, but it can't be like this feels like a crime drama. Rest in peace Javel Morgan and Carrie McLean, condolences to the family. If you're looking for a weekly dose of crime content, look no further than Crime Report Weekly. Every week, we'll bring you the latest and most challenging cases from around the world. Like, share and subscribe for more.